In this lesson video, we're going to wrap up and finish the Hello World application that we've been working with so far in this section. And what we're going to do in this particular lesson is we're going to go ahead and work with that OK button that we had created from our layout and the method that we had created from the previous lesson. And we're going to put some code in there to actually do something when the OK button is created. And so what I plan on doing is I plan on taking the text that is in our edit text and I want to store that in a string variable. Now variables will be covered in another lesson in the next section, but we're going to use them here within this particular one. And just to give you an overview of what a string variable is, it's just a spot in memory that we're going to create that can hold data. And we're going to put the data that we take from that edit text, store it in our memory, take it from our device's memory, and we're going to actually put it in text value of another object. And so I'm going to use two different methods. I'm going to use the get text method to take it out, then we're going to store it in a string, and then we're going to use the set text method to put it in. So let's go ahead and do that so I can show you what we're going to do. So to begin with, I'm going to go ahead and just show you real quick that if we go back to the activity main and I look at the code, I said that I'm going to be using the OK click method whenever this button is clicked. This is our OK button. So I'm going to come over to the main activity and scroll down and I'll find the OK click method that's going to run or execute the code whenever that button is clicked. So let's go ahead and now it's on my line 53 as I'm going to write my first line of code. I'm going to type in string, and this is going to be to declare a string, str name. And I'll go ahead and end that with a semicolon. I'm going to go ahead and bring in a variable called string. I'm going to call it str name. Again, you can name it anything you'd like. I start off str so that I know that later on in code I'm working with a string variable and I've given it a name str name. Okay, on the next line of code, we're going to go ahead and instantiate this variable that we just created. And we're going to actually set a value to this. And so to begin with, I'm going to type in str name. I'm going to set it equal to, and if I scroll up just a little bit, this et name, this is the object that I have that is linked to edit text name. And this is where I want to pull the data from or the text value from. So I'm going to scroll down here, and I'm going to type in et name dot, we're going to use the get text method, so get text, opening and closing parenthesis, and I'm going to say dot, and I need to convert that over to a string, so I'm going to say to string with the opening and closing parentheses, and hit a semicolon to end that statement, and I'll hit enter. Now, I've got a problem with et name. If I hover over it, it says change modifier of et name to static. If I scroll up, it's because I created the objects here at the class level and they need to be static. If I scroll back over to the bottom and hover over, I can say change modifier of et name to static. I click on it and you can see that it added the word static to this particular variable. Again, variables and other objects will be created in more detail in the next section. I'm going to scroll back down here and that took care of our problem. Now I also want to be able to use the set text method and set the name of our text view hello. So if I scroll back up here a little bit, you can see TV Hello is currently linked to text view hello. And I want to set the text of that text view. So I'm going to go ahead and come down here one more line of code, and I'm going to say TV Hello dot, I'm going to say set text, I put an opening and closing parenthesis, and I'll put a semicolon there to end that. Again, I'm going to have another problem. TV Hello, it needs to be changed to the static, so I'm going to go ahead and say change the modifier. And again, I changed it and put static up here at the top. If I scroll down to the bottom, the text is going to be anything I put within the set of the parentheses. And so I'm going to have to hard code some words, and then I'm also going to use the variable. To hard code text or strings, I'm going to have to use the double quotes. So I'm going to start off with double quotes, and I'm going to say hello, put a space, and that'll put a space between the words. And then what I need to do is add in the name that was entered in that text box, which is currently going to be stored in this string called str name. So I'm going to go ahead and add to it, or concatenate the string str name. And I'll go ahead and put another concatenation or another plus symbol there to add to it some more text. And I'll do the double quotes because this is going to be hard coded text. I'm going to do apostrophe s and then put a space and spell out world with an exclamation mark. So what's going to happen when the OK button is clicked is a string called str name is going to be created, which is going to basically reserve a spot in our device's memory to allow us to put some data in that we can later pull out. In the next line of code, we're actually going to put that data in that string. We're going to pull the 
text out of the edit text, convert it to a string, and then store it in that variable. And then in the next line of code, we're going to go ahead and set the text of TV hello to the word hello plus the name plus the apostrophe s world. And now that I have the code written, I'm going to go ahead and choose to save it. I'll press control S to save my activity. And now I need to run it. So I'm going to restore it back down. And I'm going to go ahead and right click on hello world and tell it to run it as an Android application. And now that the emulator is loaded, I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. And if the application doesn't load, like you see here on mine, you may have to look for it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Apps button and look for the apps. And there's my Hello World app. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. All right, now that the application has loaded, you can see that I have the Hello World, or this is my text view hello. And you've got Enter Your Name, which is the text view name. And then you can see the cursor is blinking in our edit text. And it says first and last name for our hint. I'm going to go ahead and type in my name. And then if I hit the button OK, the OK method that we created is going to execute. And you can see that it says now hello. And then we added that little space. And when there is the string that we had, Matthew. We added the apostrophe S, and then a space, and then the word world with exclamation marks. So you can see that it has changed now. And anything that I change in here will also work. So if I added Android, for instance, and I hit OK, that OK button will execute again and change the string to Android. And you can see, hello, Android's world. All right, and then the close button, we had a different method for the click event set up. And that one's going to call to finish the application. So if I hit close, you can see the application will disappear. And that concludes the first section. In the next section, we're going to be creating a brand new application and learn quite a bit more about Android development.